Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Justin the Laser, and welcome back to Basketball Season Episode 2. I need to think of a way cooler name for it. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you guys. On the first episode, I asked for 15,000 likes, and you guys got 46,000. 46,000! Holy shit! Thank you guys so much. So we are getting right back into it. It's becoming a series. To start it off, we have another close-up of my face. <laughs> Uh, this is LaRue, listen to what he says. Five minutes into the game and uh, Mitchell is not here. <laughs> we had a team of about eight or nine players, but that day only four of us showed up! And Mitchell was supposed to be there, but he slept through it! Mitchell! So, for the start of the game, it was four on five. Yeah, I know. Also, we had a huge crowd this game, as you can see. <laughs> Go Bucket Squad. <laughs> it was just my brother. <laughs> like, we have no fans. So our team was made up of our sophomore high school basketball team and friends. And their team was comprised of kids from the rival high school. So this was kind of a rivalry game. A couple of the kids on their team played high school. And like, we've obviously played each other before. So a little bit of rivalry going on this game. I got the ball. Cam is sending a pick. I see some open space drive in. I see LaRue open for three. Dot that eye. Oh god. Last video, you guys were complaining about the rest. Let me know what you guys think of this. So we're on the break, I get the ball, I do a half spin layup, and they call me on a travel! Please tell me, is that a travel in the comments? So pretty early into the game, since it was 4 on 5, they just gave us some random dude, and oh my god, was he trash. Ben, who's the point guard, season opening, drives in, and I had to show this, gets blocked! No! Take that, Ben! As I said in the last video, this is one of the smallest basketball courts ever, so they ran a full court press, and I just have a stupid turnover. Like, I tried to dribble through them instead of just looking up and passing. Damn it, Jesse! Their press was messing us up. We kept trying to dribble through it instead of passing it around, and watch this. He's out! Are you kidding? So the ref missed the call, but since LaRue yelled out, he's out of bounds, the ref called it. He was triggered. After that, I'm inbounding the ball and look at this no look pass. Oh, that was sexy. And he bricks the layup. How do you brick that? Ben dribbles to the press and he runs right at me, so I don't really know what to do. I'm and then he gives the ball to the new kid and it's a GG. He was so bad! Once again, they're running the press, and I see the new kid down the court, so I throw him the ball. But what does he do? He misses. Every time he got the ball, he shot. I'm guarding their player number zero. We used to be teammates. He's trying to expose me, and then I try to play some good defense. And I guess that was my defense. I don't really know. I think he just kind of messed up. We're going to play a game probably multiple times every video now. Is this a foul? Let me know. So because he falls down, it's automatically a foul. All right. They were running a 2-3 zone, so I was just standing at the free throw line trying to get the ball. Once I got it, I drove in, got the easy foul call, bricked a free throw, bricked another free throw. I'm just going to say I got a monster block. That shouldn't have even been a double dribble. Like, what? He got triggered. He wanted a technical. I'm on the break and recently I've been calling myself the 220 pound machine. And this is why I'm just too big. I know I'm fat, you don't need a comment. Once again, I'm showing out the high post. Grab the ball, drive in, get the foul call. Rick the free throw, this is becoming routine. And then I actually made one, so. <laughs> Once again, I'm on the break and I show off my Kyrie Irving handles. And Ben is wide open. Finally see him. Ben gets the three-pointer and it's right back one! The funny thing about Ben making the three, one day in practice, our coaches asked who is the worst shooter on the team. And the team is all huddled around him. And he's looking at everyone. And he's like, Ben. Ben is the worst shooter on the team. So from that day, we always just call Ben the worst shooter on the team. I'm on the break again. I like that. I hit him with the spin move layup. I honestly think that's my best move. I like that. And Jidel loves it. One of my best defensive performances this play, I just grabbed the ball. I wasn't even paying attention really. But here you can see how much I love my right hand compared to my left. Like I was only using my right, but I still got the layup, so it works. 
Number three, Cameron is wide open. I don't know what he's doing. That was such a bad travel. So you gotta pass to beat his own. I'm pretty proud of this. I see Cameron open, thread the needle, and he gets the easy bucket. Quick score check, very close game, 19 to 20. We're guests, so we're up by one. They're dribbling up the ball, and the guy that new kid's guarding is sets a screen, but he doesn't say anything. Ball on the screen! LaRue gets triggered. Listen to the noise he made. <laughs> Yo, give me a bass drop, this is sexy. <laughs> Just kidding, I did a carryover. Come on, refs, you gotta let it slide, man, please. That would've been so sick. If you watch all my one-on-ones and basketball videos, you know I really don't play much defense. It's bad. Pause. Now, that was a sexy pass, I admit it. Now, he's wide open. Does he make the layup or not? No. It's time for me to make my first three-pointer of the season. Oh, so close. As I was saying earlier, I'm an elite defender. Just watch. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I wasn't paying attention at all. I had to get Ben to yell at me. They get the ball, they shoot a three, and this is where my conspiracy comes in play. Replay that. I have a conspiracy. That kid was trying to help the other team win. Instead of rebounding it, he takes it and throws it to the other team. What are you doing? I'm not even gonna commentate this. 11 seconds left. Time to hit a buzzer, baby. That's be great. And I hit the free throw. I don't care how awkward my moves look, I got an for it. Once again, I show off my CP3 passing vision. Ooh, get him for the reverse layup. Clap it up. Right here, just stupid play by me. Come here! That's one of the problems with being the 220 pound machine. Like, it's hard to control your body. You hear me say, oh shit, too. I was like, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. The opponent's driving in, takes a floater, just airballs it, and then BOOM! <laughs> LaRue does his ninja shit. They get the ball down low, and I'm just in the right place at the right time. Get the steal, base drop! I told you guys I love the spin move. We're currently up by nine at this point. 13 minutes left in the game. Just a stupid mistake. Leave him open during the inbound and he just splashes it. LaRue catches the ball and tries to Kobe it to himself off the backboard. Didn't work. But check out that slide. Ben, our point guard, drives in. Gets him with the pump fake. Air balls. LaRue is disappointed. Check out these moves. This is just nice. If you don't know about Deco, buying our group, right? check out the... That's right. That's right. But then they come down the next play and just hit a three-pointer. They start running their press again. I'm down the court. I literally pass it as fast as I can. He's wide open. Now, this is legit. How do you miss that unless you're trying to sabotage our team? Like, how do you miss that? Are you... Oh, God. Mitchell, why were you asleep? They're running the press again, and the new kid is at the other side of the court. He's always open, and when he gets the ball, he shoots it and bricks it. Triggered! Guys, I remember Ben literally told me, he's like, Jesse, you need to go where he is because we're not passing you to him anymore. Ben lobs me the ball from the press. So this time I get the ball. I see the kid wide open. I'm like, I don't, I don't fuck mean, with don't you. Fuck that. It's basically an instant turnover. So I just take it all myself. Jesse bringing up the ball. Oh, the crossovers are sexy. Oh my God. The 220 pound machine with the layup. Now guys, pay attention to this moment of the game. So seven minutes, 33 seconds left. We are up by six. We're guests. Listen to what happens this play. Three, one, Basically, let me summarize what happened. Cameron number three has five fouls. Now, he should have been kicked out of the game, but we had no subs. So every time he got a foul from then on out, it was a technical two. Now, we were up by six. We go to the next play, and it's a tie game, 46-46. What happened? So Todd was recording. I guess he didn't get it. Todd, what the hell, man? But I'll tell you guys what happened. We were like, Cameron, do not foul. Just so happens, so their best player shooting a three-pointer. Cameron runs out, fouls him. He makes an and one three-pointer, so 
he gets a free throw for making the and one. He hits that. Gets a free throw for making the technical. Hits that. Five point play. And they get the ball back and hit another three pointer. So it led to an eight point play, ladies and gentlemen. The first eight point play in the history of basketball. GG. So now the game is tied. That happened. They're still running their plus. And Cameron gets a little bit of redemption with this and one. I didn't want to get the eight second violation, so I dribble through it. And I just can't believe how much I use my right hand only. But still, that was a sexy shot, you gotta admit. Score check, it's 50 to 50. Super close game, a minute 20 left. So I'm just gonna show you guys pretty much everything that happens for the rest of the game. I have the ball, I wanna drive in because that's my strength. Get fouled. So now we have the inbound, I get the ball, and it was at this moment, right when I passed it, I knew I fucked up. I passed it to the new kid. Literally, once the ball went out of my hands and I saw who I actually passed it to, I was like, oh no, what have I done? No! And off the three-pointer, we got an over-the-back foul. And they were in the bonus, so they got two free throws. The dude airballed. Late in the game, we need a bucket. I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling it. It was eight months ago. I think I was feeling it. So I just popped the three-pointer and... Oh, so close, but LaRue gets the rebound. Gets fouled for shooting foul. So it's all good. LaRue, clutch free throw, misses. But I get the board and get fouled. We're inbounding the ball. Todd didn't get the first part of the play. But I get the ball and watch. They called me for a travel. I hop stepped. How is this a travel? If anything, that's an and one. The other team has the ball. He tries to cross and he chokes. It's out of bounds. Our ball. Listen into our huddle. They're playing two, three, or man to man. If they play man to man, take it up top. Larue set Jesse a pick. Go to one. So the plan was for Larue to set me a pick and I was gonna drive in. This is what happens. Larue sets me a screen. I'm on the smaller guy. I drive in, do the spin, of course. I miss, get the ball back, pump fake, and get fouled for the and one, boom! You gotta admit, that was pretty clutch, got the freaking and one in the clutch, let's go! They don't call me clutch for no reason. Yep, I miss a super clutch free throw. Their player goes down, and then finds an opening baseline, gets fouled, hits his first free throw, hits his second free throw. Now at this point, I think there's only about five, six seconds left, we're down by one. Listen into our huddle. Set a screen on this side of their press. Did Jesse catch it about that one? Right I'm, just spread down. I'm just gonna let you guys watch. My tripod just like broke, so new camera angle. I missed the final shot by that much. That much! Now I'm driving, I just knock him to the floor. When I knocked him to the floor, I like picked him off the ball. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try and take a layup because that's my strength. But I picked up the ball and I was like, shit. And I think the clock's about to run out. So I shoot it. I probably had a little bit more time. But yeah, I just shot it. Wasn't a good shot. We took our first L of the season. But if you think about it, it's not that bad of an L because only half our team was at the game. We were missing so many people. Like, if literally, if only one of them showed up and we didn't have that kid, it would have been a GG. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Like, the support lately has been absolutely insane. Let's try and hit 20,000 likes. You guys got 46,000 the last one. 20,000 likes for episode three. I hope you guys are enjoying this and all of my merch is back online. It's in the description. It's Christmas season time to be great. It's all made with ball is life It's super sick so you can find that and yes, yeah, so Sajron Bucks got today and peace